So in this video I'm going to define something called the scalar product. This is the way you can take two vectors and from them produce a number. Okay, so first of all I'll just define it. Suppose that I have two vectors v and w. The scalar product is written as a dot between v and w. It's therefore sometimes called the dot product. And it's defined to be equal to the length of v times the length of w times the cosine of the angle between them. Okay. So here theta is the angle between v and w. Okay, so it might look a bit strange to define that, but we'll see why it's useful very soon. Okay. Now an important property, an important result for the scalar product is that if you are in an orthonormal basis, which I defined in the last video, suppose that I have these vectors v, I'll take three-dimensional, why not? So v is vx, vy, vc, and w is wx, wy, wz. So these are the components in some orthonormal basis. Then you can show that v dot w is equal to vx times wx plus vy times wy plus vc times wc. In other words, you multiply the x components together, the y components together, and the z components together, and then add them all up. Okay. So it's not immediately obvious that this should be equal to that, and the proof is not so simple, in fact, so I'm going to leave the proof to another video at the end of this week. Um, but for now, just believe me that this result in an orthonormal basis gives you the same number as this here. Okay, now a couple of special cases. Suppose that v and w are the same vector, then you get that v dot v is equal to, from this result here, it's just equal to vx squared plus vy squared plus vz squared. But from this definition here, the angle between v and itself is 0, so therefore cos of 0 is 1, so I just get length of v squared here. So the length of v squared is equal to vx squared plus vy squared and plus vz squared. So this, you should recognize, this is just Pythagoras theorem, right? In two dimensions it's like that, in three dimensions it's like this. So this is just the Pythagoras theorem. Okay. Another important case is what does it mean if the dot product, the scalar product, is zero? So if v dot w equals zero, and we ignore the trivial case where one of the vectors is zero itself, then that must mean that cos theta is equal to zero. Okay. And cos theta equals zero means that the angle between them must be 90 degrees. In other words, that means that v is perpendicular to w. So a very easy way of checking if two vectors are perpendicular is to compute their scalar product and see if it's equal to zero. Okay, so before we finish, I'll just do one very quick example, just to check that everything is understood here. Suppose that my vectors v is 2, 1, minus 3, and my vector w is 2, 2, 1. Then v dot w, um, from here, assuming we're using, using an orthonormal basis, in physics we always assume we use an orthonormal basis, nearly always. So then we can use this formula, and the dot product is going to be the x components, so that's 2 times 2, 
times that times that. And then the y component, that's 1 times 2. And then the z component, that's minus 3 times 1, which is 4 plus 2 minus 3, which is 5. Okay. So the scalar product is 5. A useful thing you can do with this result is calculate the angle between these two vectors. So I've got these two vectors, v and w, that look something like this. And I want to know what's the angle theta between them. Okay, so then let's find theta. Okay, so from this formula here, we can write that cos theta is equal to v dot w divided by the length of v times the length of w. Okay, so we've already found that this is equal to 5. So we need to find the length of v and w. And we can find the length of v and w using this result here. Okay. The length of v squared is v dot v, okay. which is 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared, which is 14. And the length of w squared is w dot w which is 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is 9. Okay, So from these we get that the length of v is square root of 14, and the length of w is 3. So therefore, cos theta is v dot w, which is 5, divided by length of v is square root of 14, times w, which is 3. And then, to work out what theta is, you need to have a calculator. Okay, here's my calculator on my phone. So 5 divided by square root of 14 divided by 3, and inverse cos, 63.5. Okay, so the angle between these two vectors is 63.5 degrees. Okay, so that's the end of this video on the scalar product. In the next video, I'm going to define something called the vector product, which is another way you can multiply vectors together.